Hey, what's going on guys? Log.zip here. Welcome back to the Minecraft Redstone video. We are currently sitting at, if you couldn't tell, Y equals 1, aka pretty much the bottom of Minecraft. Right underneath this bedrock block, nothing. Void. Certain death. And what I have with me today are five simple items. A sticky piston. A regular piston. A redstone block. A slime block. And some string. And again, we're at y equals 1. For now. Now what is this thing I have behind me, you're asking, huh? All the way up there. And where does it lead? Well, it's simple enough. It's an elevator. And I want you to look at my y so you can see how fast we travel up this baby. <laughs> I present to you a very simple slime block elevator you can add to your Minecraft 1.8 and 1.9 worlds. Using only five simple items. Now you need more than five total, but it's only using five different blocks. And it is by Neroth. Now Neroth, again, is the guy that made this awesome and simple two by two slime block elevator that can get you up from zero to height limit in literally seconds. I take no credit for this. And if y'all could do me a favor, Neroth, the guy that did make this, is currently at 50 subscribers. You should go check out his channel and subscribe to him. I want to see how many subscriptions we can get this guy. But meanwhile, yes, this is an amazing slime block elevator that only requires a 2x2 two two space and, I mean, a bunch of these five different items. But as you can see, all you gotta do is step right on the inside and you're on your way up at a little over 16 blocks per second. Arguably, the fastest and most compact combination of a slime block elevator you can make. And not to mention, it is super, super duper simple to show you how to make it. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now that we are at the top of our elevator, I'm going to go ahead and drop down and uh, get us some height so that we can figure out exactly where we want to build this baby. I think, I mean, since it's so small, we can really just build it anywhere. I could literally build it on this ledge right here. So I think I will do just that. You're going to need to start off with the following. One sticky piston, three regular pistons, three redstone blocks, seven slime blocks, and a string. And it goes as follows. In the top left of your 2x2 two two area that you're planning on building this baby, place down a sticky piston facing upwards. Now on top of that, place one, two, three, four, five, six slime blocks. And then to the right of that topmost slime block, you're going to go ahead and place down the seventh slime block. So now we've used seven slime blocks and one sticky piston. We'll just place these over here for now just so we don't get confused about anything. Now, the redstone block placement goes next. The next, I said. <laughs> place a redstone block up one and to the right one of your sticky piston right there. Place another, sli or another redstone block right underneath this little protruding slime block and then place one right on top of it. Those are your three slime blocks placed just like that. Now, the pistons, you might need a little bit of a support block to place down these regular pistons, so we just have like a stone block. And the way you're gonna do this is as follows. Place a piston facing downwards above and in front of this redstone block, just like that. Place your second one next to, aka touching this redstone block so that it is expanded like that. And then place the final one, again, possibly needing a support block right above this redstone block. So again, above the first redstone block, touching the second redstone block, above the third redstone block. Or, above the first redstone block, touching the second redstone block, above the third redstone block. Now, once you've done that and you've gotten rid of any support blocks that you placed to help you, all you need to do, add some string next to the sticky piston, and you can see that you're done. Just like that. You see that? Look at this. Look how fast. <laughs> That's crazy. Now, there's technically no built-in down mode. So what I would recommend you do is probably just place, like, some water to fall on at the bottom of wherever your elevator starts. Now, the beauty of this, as you saw, is it can very easily be stacked on top of each other. Now, if you want to stack it, you, well, I'm going to grab I'm gonna grab the rest of my... Oh, did they delete? Oh, they deleted. Well, good thing I've got them all. <laughs> right here anyways now to stack it works in a similar way except when you're building the next layer up start two blocks above the last slime block aka an empty block here an empty block there and you can place your next piston and then it's literally as false one two three four five six one goes right there 
a redstone block there, a redstone block there, a redstone block above and to the right of the sticky piston, and then you've of course got your pistons, which again, above like that, touching, oops, touching like that, and then above like that. And then your final touch is the string still right next to the sticky piston. And now when you go on this baby, shabba doo shabba dee, you're now at the top of this one. It's infinitely stackable. Well, I mean, obviously, once you reach height limit, you can't stack it anymore. But, uh, I'd say it's a pretty simple elevator. I'm gonna show you a quick montage of me building the behemoth that we showed off at the start of the episode so you can get a better grasp and just, you know, make it part of your memory how to make this baby. So we're gonna go speed mode. Sticky piston, six slime blocks, two spaces. Sticky piston, six slime blocks, two spaces. Sticky piston, six slime blocks, two spaces. Now to the right of the top most slime block goes another slime block. And that's gonna be for every single section that you stack on top of each other. Slime block goes to the right of the top most of the six slime blocks for a total of seven per module. Next up, the redstone blocks. Once again, above and to the right of the sticky piston, one underneath the slime block that sits on the right of the slime block tower and one above the slime block that sits on the right of the slime block tower. Two more steps, baby. Get your pistons ready. The first one goes above and in front of the topmost redstone block. The second one is touching the second redstone block and the third one is again above and in front of the last, AKA the bottommost redstone block. Once you've done all those things, your final step is just gonna be placing some string next to the sticky piston. And once you've done that, your elevator is good to go. Oh, but one last thing. Make sure the slime blocks are not touching any other blocks wherever you decide to build this elevator. You need to have space around the contraption, otherwise the slime blocks won't move because they'll be trying to push the other pistons. You can use a command such as this to clear a bunch of blocks fast, otherwise you better grab your pickaxe and get to mining. Anywho, my friends, that is gonna do it for this quick two by two redstone slime block elevator that's gonna change the way you travel uh, up and down in Minecraft at over 16 blocks height gained per second it is totally useful in your survival world once again a big thank you to neroth for this awesome design guys currently sitting at 50 subscribers guys let's boost that channel go give him a look see if you love what you see and hey if you do show him some love and show me some love while you're at it. if you enjoyed or you learned something from this please do drop a like right on the video be much appreciated friend i said make sure you are subscribed to me as well what what oh i guess i'll join you to our certain doom mr pig anyways have a great day guys We'll see you later.